Alright guys, welcome back to another painting two video today. We're getting down to the plan. A petty two plan. Anyways, stupid. Anyways, we're gonna be doing uh, Panic Room since that is one of the most recent recent highs. I did originally want to do Safe House, but Safe House currently isn't being rated right now, so I can't really do that. But anyways, I'm gonna go over Panic Room now. If you don't know what Panic Room is, Panic Room is originally from Pay the Heist, and it is I wouldn't say the most popular heist, but it was definitely one of the favorites. I would say probably one of the favorites of everybody's. Um, but, I don't know. I mean, it, it was alright to me. It's certainly not my least favorite. My least favorite is being Slaughterhouse, for obvious reasons. But, anyways, we're gonna go into it. So, uh, the assets, uh, assets, you gotta find Chavez. Chavez, my main man Chavez. Now, this time, he's got a ballistic vest on, and he is, he's ready. He's ready. I mean, last time, he wasn't ready. Now he is. So this is the panic room, this is the side outside, this is the outside, this is the side, this is the cutout, this is the side cutout, this is the front view, this is the front outside, this is the door, and that's the front outside. So if you know, and that's, that's the inside pretty much, I don't... Or, well, that's like the inside, I don't know why uh, These are the packages, yeah, everybody knows that. This is the risk level, which is apparently mayhem. They've actually... Apparently actually did that. Wow, that's... Just, I didn't think they would actually do that. Well, okay. And then you got grenade case, ammo bag, doctor bag, pretty pretty standard. Uh, weapons that I would usually recommend for this. Definitely a sniper of some sort. Definitely a sniper because there's snipers everywhere. I would mainly recommend either the R93, Nagant, or the M308. Reason being for the M308 is because the M308 is probably the best uh, automatic rifle in the game. Uh, or sniper rifle, I'm guessing. And for me, it's doing a total of 170 damage, which doesn't seem so far, but I was using these two guns on Deathwish. Uh, mainly, my shotgun is doing a 206. So this one is for mainly medium and uh, long range, and this is for like close and medium range. Of course, I'm bringing the electric brass knuckles for obvious reasons, some grenades, and uh, improved tactical vests in my uh, gear. So here we go, let's get into it. I'm fired up about this one game. My main man, Chavez. Alright, so I have not actually went fully into a heist in a long time, so... Let's see here, move up the FOV, move out. Alright. So everything's gonna look a bit weird, as you can see already now. As you can see, the uh, road is slowly going away. So anyways, uh, the most you can actually play is about maybe to here, like this door maybe. I don't know if you can actually go outside in this area. You probably can't, but because of the cars and such. So anyways, basically, actually, hold on. Let me change my move speed here. So as we got here, we're, you know, strolling on by. Now you see this guy. This guy, he'll 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 check if you're there, you know, you know, making sure that nobody like the cops are coming or such. Now there are many different ways of how this heist can go down. There are three ways of this entrance here, uh, which I guess are the three ways. So there's this guy right here. This is the fastest way to get inside. You go over here. He knocks you in. You go in the door. You know, this guy he's doing some moves. Doing some moves. But over here, you go in, you move in, and you open the door, and then you wait for your main man, Chavez. Chavez is not in here. Or, there is the two possible ways, which are down here. Now, I'm just going to outright say the, the one that is bad. If you see three guys lining up right here, be ready. Make sure that you mainly have a guy on the railing, maybe. Maybe on the railing. Uh, if there are any open doors and such. Maybe a guy over there and two guys with you here. If you're on higher difficulties or, you know, just keep that as the standard. The reason why is there, if there are three guys lined up here. As soon as you open this door, bam, the guy right here. Actually, that's not the guy. But there will be a guy here that will pull out a gun on you and then it's basically an ambush. Uh, that is from the original game, and I'm very glad they kept that from the original game. Now, spawn points uh, for enemies can be here, I'm pretty sure. 
Uh, they probably can be over there. Of course, on the roofs and such. Uh, sewers, obviously. Maybe some cloaker spawns there. Over there. Also keep in mind, these little ways here, you might be thinking, ah, oh, they're completely useless. There's no reason to have them and such. Well, there actually is. Now, the best one, in my opinion, is the one over here. And we're going to get into that in a, a bit. So, as you can see, this right here, this is your loot truck. You throw almost everything. You mainly throw the Coke bags and the toothbrush right into there. Now, I like to think that there's this level, which is the basement or first floor that you can throw into there. Pretty standard, pretty standard. So, we're going to move into the heights a bit more. And, of course, the third possible way is actually that it's just a longer way from this guy. Basically, the same thing without the ambush. So, now, once you've moved into the uh, actual heist itself, um, of course, there's, like, loose change sometimes around this place and such. Now, this guy will open the door, you go in here, and he will inspect the bag of money that you are giving them. Now... Some players may be confused of why these guys are here and be like, oh, well, they're going to block me. They don't actually block you if you give them the money. They'll allow you to go on to the second floor, as you can see here, second floor. Uh, but they won't allow you to go on the third floor. Now, Chavez can spawn on many of the floors, mainly second to up. Uh, he could be in this room, maybe. As you can see here, lots of money, lots of cocaine. Or he could be in this room or in the cooking station. There are many possible ways of where Chavez can be. Um, also, by the way, there's this strange shoot suitcase here. I don't know exactly what it what it means, but I opened it and it didn't pull out anything. So that might be a, an extra loot or something, but who knows? Of course, there's like other doorways and such. Now it's up to here where they won't allow you to pass. These guys right here, if you try and pass them, they'll immediately like get alerted. And then everybody will try and kill each other. Now, in this room here, as you can see, you're pretty standard room, pretty standard room. Now, the third floor is the main uh, idea of the heist, in a way. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you see this red door over here? Fun fact for people who don't know, and pay the heist, originally, if you took down Chavez and didn't put in the keys, the... the the heist itself would start, but not the assault, uh, which actually was a fun fact. Um, I'm not entirely sure if anybody knew that, but yeah, I don't think it actually works in here. So as you can see in here, there is, is the panic room. Now, you can't actually steal any of this. I'm pretty sure you can't steal any of this since they are mainly solid objects. As you can tell, these are the solid objects. I can, I can pretty much tell what are solid objects of cocaine and what are pickable objects. Uh, Okay. So moving on from this, and of course guys can spawn in here, they're just not spawning for me. Moving up to here, and of course as soon as you do uh, shoot those two guys, it immediately goes loud. Um, or if you want, you can let the guy look around in the bag. I don't know if it's still in there, but he'll look around in the bag, and then he'll say, this isn't much, or this is, f you know, counterfeit. Uh, and no, that is not, if it is counterfeit, it is not the money that we got from counterfeit, the heist. That is, no. As you see, this guy is trying to get laid right now. Moving on from here, Chavez can be in here. Chavez can be in many places. Chavez is like Slender Man. Uh, I guess this room is actually blocked off. Wait, is that cocaine? Uh, what the heck? Huh. Well, make sure you check all the rooms, I guess. Moving on to the fifth floor, we have these rooms and such, you know. And make sure to look out for that toothbrush. Make sure to look out for that toothbrush. It will give you a trophy and an achievement and actually $3 million on Death Wish, I'm pretty sure. Uh, last time I did it by myself, so as you can see in here. So I can't find my main man Chavez. I don't know where my main man Chavez is at, man. But... As soon as you find main man Chavez, you take him out, maybe take a few shots depending on which difficulty you're on, and there'll be two keys that will drop just in case if a player, you know, disconnects or leaves or something. Also, by the way, this is the hobo from the, uh, from Aftershock Highs, if you didn't know that, apparently. That's, uh, that's what's his name, uh, 
Uh, gosh, what is his name from House of Cards? I don't know. But that's, that's him when he gets older and loses his career. So, make sure you look for your main man Chavez. So now, once you've done that and open up that door, uh, it starts to get to sign time. Now, from here, gosh darn it, not here. From here, also an abandoned place. But boards. Ah, that's interesting. All this stuff is still in here. Odd overkill, odd. Anyways, moving on. In this room, you need to cut these saw plates right here and here. Also, the bottom ones right here and here. Once you've done that, bile will be up here on the roof as I move upwards. We'll be on the roof here, dropping down, or not really dropping down, but hovering in the air. Now, snipers can pretty much spawn from anywhere. They can spawn here, there, there, all around you. Snipers everywhere. Though, sadly, the original sni sniper spawn, they don't actually spawn here, I'm pretty sure. They used to in the original game, and it was hard to shoot them. But, yeah. So, once you've done that, Bio will actually do two things so far as I know. He will either drop the uh, C4 down here, which is actually the best way of doing it. Which is funny, like, when it goes right for them, it's worse for us. When it goes wrong for them, it's better for us sometimes. Just like in uh, Undercover. Or sometimes he'll drop it right here. Now, the, wh the reason why this is bad is because if you're in a tight situation where he's like, all right, well, you guys are fine, I dropped a C4, and then they start to spawn in, you're going to be covered with cops here all over the place. So make sure that you get that one. If you get this one, bring, like, a few extra teammates. By the way, when you're watching those uh, the saws, make sure you have two down, two up, uh, if you want. Depending on which difficulty, maybe look around for loot. If you do want loot, and now you go here... You pick up the C4 right now. You have to basically go here, put three down here, put three depending on which room it is. I can't remember what is the exact room. I think it's this one maybe. I don't know. I can't remember the exact room. Actually, yeah, it is that room. And then right, uh, some C4 down here. Each level basically. Not each level, but the uh, three top levels. Roof, uh... Fifth floor and fourth floor. Once you've done that, you basically run down here far enough, like right about here, I think. Maybe about... Nah, I'm pretty sure you go right up here. There. Once you've gone down to this floor or the other floor, then the C4 will uh, explode. Then you run all the way back up. Make sure you run all the way back up to the roof and start taking down guys. Because, you know, they'll spawn very quickly... And then what happens is that Bile needs to drop down. By the way, you need to take out all the snipers and such. He'll drop down, and then he'll make sure that, like, right around this area. Which, by the way, you need to go down to, I think, this floor here. Right here. I think this is the floor. Yeah, this is the floor. You go down right here. You attach the crane. You got to still keep shooting all of these, clearing the roof. He'll pick it up. And take it out, and then immediately after that, sometimes it's a good way to uh, use the little uh, fire escape here. Make sure that you use the fire escape. It's a very good way of actually getting out. And you jump down here. You run in. Make sure you check your areas. Don't jump from here. Don't jump from here. I've tried so many times, and I cannot jump from there. Try, like, maybe trying to jump on the bike and then jumping down, or just running the whole way down here. Run down. And you should be able to get that cardio achievement, uh, which is like 20 seconds, I believe. I can't remember. And yeah, it's 20 seconds, so try to run as fast as you can. Maybe not wear, like, armor. Uh, it's on any difficulty, so you could probably do this on normal, and you could run, like, dodge bills, and you should be fine. Once you're down here, guys will spawn down here, start trying to shoot you. Run down here. There's a little door here. Open that up, then go down into the sewers, and there you go. That's the end of the heist. So... What would I recommend for this heist? Well, I usually recommend M308s uh, all around just because it's easier to take out snipers. Also, these little little spawns here, these empty rooms, they can spawn in these various rooms. They can spawn down there, up here. No matter what, they can spawn in windows. A sniper can actually spawn, uh, 
believe it or not, can actually spawn in this or that window. I can't remember the exact one, but they can actually spawn right behind you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's that one. They can spawn right behind you, and if you're down here, like, you know, because these, this used to be one of the good spots, you know, you would, like, you know, take cover from here, trying to take out guys. Uh, the sniper will just shoot you down, and if it's one down, then, you know, you're gonna have, like, a hard time. Also, fun fact, if you have the little couch thing here, it used to be where this couch was the savior of everything. Everything. The couch would actually act as a shield, uh, actually. And, you know, you could take out enemies over here with the headshots and such. So, if you ever need a plan B, go over here. Or plan A, whatever you want to do. Uh, now, earlier, I was talking about throwing bag system. So, as you can see here, the truck is right here, right? Well, can't do it through here. Let's go to the next level. You can probably... Yeah, you can do it through here. But these two levels right here and here can shoot out the windows if you just crouch just far enough and make sure that you don't fall just crouch far enough you can actually throw the bags high enough down into the uh, back of the truck so that's about it so I would recommend at least two M three weights at least ten, two three or uh, at least two three M or gosh darn it at least two M three weights um Shotguns are very, very good from this map because it's close quarters. Uh, pistols would work too. Maybe some, maybe some assault rifles. Maybe a really good assault rifle. Uh, but it's entirely up to you. I just usually run with a shotgun and M308. So that's about it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this, uh, this heist. Actually, I'm going to... I'll probably take a picture when it's during loud, maybe. I don't know. I'll take a picture sometime. Or I'll just use it from overkill or something. I don't know. But, yep. What the heck is that in the wind? Like snowflakes? Airplanes? Maybe airplanes. But, yep, that's about it. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this Pay to the Plans video. And, uh, yep, see you in the, uh, the next one. And, uh, yeah. Alright, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed that uh, Pay to the Plans video. I was thinking of doing the safe house. We'll probably will do the safe house soon. I just need time, mainly. Uh, but yeah, if you want to check out the last one, which was actually pre-Safe House, funny enough. I thought since Hawks and House Room Party was coming by, I thought I'd do a little inspection of pre-war Safe House before we eventually leave it. And then we will be checking in on the new Safe House, hopefully when uh, my Safe House gets ready, because I want to show that part. So if you want to go check out that video, it's right up there. And if you want to check out the playlist, right down there. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, it's right over there. So, there you go.